Power is more than just what keeps the lights on. Reactive, real, and apparent power all play a role. But what's the difference? And why does it matter for your symptoms? Stick around and I'll break it down in a way you'll never forget. Let's start with the easy one, real power. This is the power that actually does the work, like spinning motors, lighting bulbs, heating elements, and it's the power you want to be using. But there's more to the story. Reactive power, measured in kilovolt amperes reactive, or kVol, doesn't do any useful work itself, but is crucial for keeping your system running. Reactive power is what drives the magnetic fields in motors and transformers. Think of it as the assistant that sets the stage for real work to happen. But here's the catch. Too much reactive power can lead to inefficiencies and higher costs. How? Well, let me explain. Now, apparent power measured in kilovolt amperes, KVA, is the combination of real and reactive power. It's the total power your system draws from the grid, whether it's doing useful work or just supporting your equipment. Think of it like a pint of beer. The liquid is your real power. The foam is your reactive power. And apparent power is the full pint. But too much foam and you're paying for something you can't drink. So if your system has too much reactive power, it increases your apparent power. That means higher electricity bills because utilities often charge for KVA. Stress on your equipment, reactive power, this can cause overheating. Reduce capacity, your system can't deliver as much useful power. So, how do you fix it? With the right tools and techniques, I'll show you exactly what you need to get started. Here's where the Fluke Power Quality Analyzer shines. It measures all three types of power in real time, helping you identify where the efficiencies are. Pinpoint where reactive power is causing the problem. Take action to improve your power factor. With tools like this, you're not just troubleshooting, you're optimizing. This means lower bills, happier clients, and longer lasting equipment. So there you have it. Real power, reactive power, and apparent power, broken down into simple terms. By understanding how they work together, you can take control of your system's efficiency, cut costs, and deliver better results for your clients. If you want to see more content like this, hit the like button, subscribe, and check the link below to learn more about power quality analyzers. Don't just work harder, work smarter.